But I want to start with the totals that we have raised so far because they are incredible. Today alone, since 5 a.m. this morning, we have raised over $222,000 thanks to all of our viewers, a lot of different businesses out there. And over the past two weeks, the total, listen to this. $1,012,465, all of that money going to help those in need in our community right now, especially during this pandemic. So we are so grateful to everyone who's been giving and encourage you to continue to give uh, on this Giving Tuesday. And I want to turn it over now. We're going to pan the camera, shift gears to uh, Janet Curry. She's with the Greater Maryland Market Manager for Bank of America. And Janet, I know this morning we, you guys gave a huge donation, $400,000, and that yes. is going a long way to help those in need. Absolutely. First, let me say thank you for having me. It is our pleasure at Bank of America to be able to support the Maryland Food Bank. We are longtime partners, and on this Giving Tuesday now, we think it is so exciting to be able to be here as you all have this virtual food drive this virtual fundraising. Yeah, it really is so great. Why did Bank of America choose the Maryland Food Bank to, to give back to during this time? Of course. Well, like I said, we've been longtime partners. So we know the capabilities of the Maryland Food Bank. We know that they can distribute food throughout our entire state, including our Eastern Shore. Sometimes we forget about our Eastern Shore partners, and we, we love the Maryland Food Bank because they're able to do that. We know that they have a vast distribution system, and we also know that right this minute, more Marylanders are in need. Mm. So we knew we had to step up with a major gift because there is just more need out there. There really is, and you were doing just that. Uh, what are some of the other ways Bank of America is helping right now during that unprecedented need? Sure, we're focused on helping our communities in a broad sense. We have committed $100 million throughout the country to, oh. to communities and to nonprofits, and about 1.5 of that right here in Maryland. We also are partnering with our employees to make sure they're safe and okay. Some of them are working from home, but those who are in our, our branches, we're making sure they're protected. And then, of course, our clients. We're working with them. They can call us if they have special needs. We have a, a client assistance program where they can call it and get deferments on mortgages or credit cards or auto loans because we know times are tough right now. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, want to shift another six feet over <laughs> to the right, if we can, over to Carmen, the um, CEO of Maryland Food Bank. Carmen, what does this donation mean to you guys from Bank of America? I know it goes a long way. It goes a long way, and it's a huge uh, support for our mission. We, as Janet said, our relationship goes back over 25 years, and so they've been with us through thick and thin and helped us accomplish a lot of things we've accomplished over the years. But being able to step up during this critical time is uh, very important for us because we're trying to buy as much food as we possibly can to react to the need as quickly as we can. Yeah, the so need is going to go a long way. The, yeah, the need is so great. And you, as you can hear the voices talking around us, that means you guys are calling. So thank, thank you so you much. Right. Continue to do so. I uh, want to put up on the screen right now how you can donate. You can text that number there. You can go online or you can call. The phone bank here will be open until 8 this evening, but the rest of it will stay open. So give any way you can, any amount you can.